Brennan Bielak's going to be on the mound for this ball game on this Sunday afternoon. It'll be his 13th start. Yandy hitting 312 and 0 for 3 day yesterday for Yandy. And that pitch is down, just down. And Yandy draws the walk. Wander Franco has had a really good series at the plate. And that a borderline pitch, but it's going to be ball four. So after the walk to Yandy Diaz, a four pitch walk to Wander Franco. Two on, nobody out for Brandon Lau. And a line drive base hit into right field. Tucker will make the pickup. Yandy will stop at third. And the Rays have loaded the bases to begin this game. And in steps Isak Paredes coming off the two home run game in yesterday's contest. Little pop up in the shallow left. Can Pena get there? Yes, the runner's off second. I don't think Jeremy saw him because he was more concerned about the runner on third. But they get the out there without anybody advancing. So the bases remain loaded with one out. Luke Rayley. Ground ball down to first. Up on Abreu and he can't find the handle. Yandy will score. The bases are going to be loaded still. And boy, you could see Abreu thinking about two, although the ball was not hit overly hard. And that's where the hurry up got into the situation. Well, here's an opportunity for Josh Lowe. With the bases loaded in his career, Josh Lowe's hitting 417. And he shoots it toward the corner. That's going to be a fair ball. One hopping the wall. Franco has scored. Here comes Lau. Full head of steam for Luke Rayleigh. He scores on the double by Josh Lowe. And the Rays cash in on the early opportunity taking a four-run lead. I only have one question. Uh, why did Luke Rayleigh slide? Well, making the start here this afternoon for the Tampa Bay Rays, it's going to be right-hander Zach Littell. The last time he did that was against Texas. And now Tuve delivers a base hit. He continues to hit well against Tampa Bay in his career. Altuve, a leadoff base runner for the Astros. Little chop to third. Paredes will go to second. Out there. First base. Oh, safe the call there. Pena beat the throw, says Brennan Miller. The 2-2. And that is strike three on the outside corner. Fastball perfectly placed. A man left, and we go to the second 4 nothing Rays. Jordan, 5 for 11 in three games since coming off the I.L. on Wednesday. And a swing and miss. Fastball up just a little bit above the zone, maybe, and he gets the strikeout. Abreu last night on base four times. He was 3 for 3 with a home run. Three runs batted in. You can see he's having a good series overall. Now he got in on Abreu, and it's underneath the glove of Littell, and Jose Abreu is going to reach. Seemed like a relatively easy play for the Rays pitcher, but Littell had to go right in between his legs. Maldonado hitting 172, 242 on base percentage, eight homers, 18 RBIs in 77 games. And he is out in front and out on strikes. Altuve will lead things off here in the third inning, facing Zach Littell. And he delivers a single to center field. I chuckle because talking to Kevin Cash before the game, somebody you and I know very well, he was saying how good Altuve's been against them. He goes, especially on first pitches. He's like, I don't know what we're supposed to do because <laughs> first pitches, he's always attacking for hits. And then he won outing this year. Now that throw gets away. And a quick recovery, got a chance to get him, and Altuve is out at second base. Boy, they should refine that play. <laughs> I'm telling you. What a deep job. Yeah. It looked like Jose Altuve was running in place. Like he just couldn't get traction towards second base. But what a recovery by Yandy Diaz, and then he's got that long throw to make. Two outs, runner on first base for Alex Bregman. Pops it down the right side. That's Josh Lowe. Just fair making the catch. No runs, a couple hits, and a man left. Four nothing Rays. Rays put the leadoff man aboard. One on, nobody out. Here's Jose Siri. Oh, one. Swing a ground ball toward the middle. It's past the diving Pena. In a center for a base hit. Josh Lowe stops at second. Dubon on it quickly. And the Rays, with an error and a hit, have the first two aboard here in the fourth. And we go back around to the top side of the lineup. Yandy Diaz does not have a hit in this series. Ground ball and that's going to be off the glove of Bregman and eludes Pena. In the left it goes. Siri's going to score. 
Pinto will go to third, and the Rays add another run. Bregman gloves this. Real good chance for an inning-ending double play. And he ranges to his left, a tough hop. It goes off the glove, and he redirects it over the head of Pena. Well, two gone. Rays adding a run. Rays have five runs, five hits. And here's Brandon Lau. That's a liner, and it's going to get past Pena. Pinto scores, digging for third. Yandy Diaz, the Rays make it a six run game. Brandon Lau picks up his second hit, drives in his 38th run. Mentioned Jose's up to 199 career home runs with his two hits today. Slowly creeping closer to that 2,000 hit plateau. He's now at 1,972, 28 hit shot. He kept playing Tampa Bay, He'd get there in a week. <laughs> Three hit game for Altuve. He's a one out base runner for the Astros. Kyle Tucker will bat one of the lead candidates for American League Player of the Month in July. But Tuck's trying to find a knock now. He's 0 for his last 10. And he goes the other way. That's a base hit. Altuve will score. Pena on the move to third base. Tucker's going to head to second. Here comes the throw. It's high. Tucker safe. It's a 6 1 game. Astros on the board with that inside out swing from Kyle Tucker. Good hustle. Gets him into second base, too. Ray's trying to get another out or, out or two out of Zach Littell, who's about to make his 80th pitch of the game. Bregman grounds one towards the hole. Backhander by Franco. Long throw. Bregman is safe. Run scores six to two. The Rays think they might have a case at first on that throw from Franco to try to get Bregman, and they want to take a look at it. That looked promising. He's out. He is out. He is out. Wow. That, that's why the Rays were so quick. After he threw the call, the field is overturned. The runner is out. Tampa Bay will retain their champion. Fans don't like it, but that's a phenomenal play by the Tampa Bay shortstop. He's lead by four runs here in the sixth, and they'd love to have some sort of an answer. To what the Astros did there in the home half. There's a shot high and deep to right. That baby's going to go out of here. Home run for Brandon Lau. His 13th of the year. And the Rays come up with two on one swing of the bat. That's Lau's third hit of the day. First out here in the eighth for Isak Paredes, who homered off Graveman in Chicago. He's looking for his first hit here today. So here we go. Can they turn two? Pena to Kessinger in the game now for Altuve. And there he is, Kendall Graveman, in his return to the Astros. Gets out of a first and third no-out situation with a strikeout and a double play behind him. Well, here we go. Runners on first and second with one out in the inning. So Abreu will hit with two on. And he went in and gets him on a roller up the right side. Out there, first unassisted. Bregman to third, and Alvarez up to second. Again in the eighth. And a roller to first. Diaz makes the play unassisted. No runs, two hits, and two left. We're headed into the ninth inning. 8-2, Tampa Bay. So two up and two down to the bottom of the ninth inning. Kessinger, and he hits a fly ball in the center. Right there for it is Jose Siri who makes the catch. And this game is over. The Rays are winners. It's an 8-2 final, and they win two out of three from Houston on the road.